Today we're going to be ranking the Thunder Air Jordan 4s, the red, white, and yellow colorway. And not only are we going to be taking my opinion and my dad's opinion, but I also got you guys' opinion as well with the poll result on Instagram and YouTube. So make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video to see those final results. So for those that don't know, it originally started with the Yellow Thunder, aka the Thunder Air Jordan 4s. So back in 2006, we originally saw the Lightning and Thunder pack hit the streets and it was a very limited release and the shoes went for a lot of money for a lot of years. And from 2006 to current time, the Air Jordan 4 had been a grail for a ton of collectors that have been in the game. And a lot of people were extremely happy to see the Lightning Air Jordan 4s retro in 2021. And I have a comparison review of the 2006 and the 2021 retro if you guys want to check that out after. Now when it comes to the Thunder Air Jordan 4s, we originally saw these released in 2006, then a retro in 2012, which they were all right. And then we had this recent retro in 2023. Now this was a hyped up, sought after, crazy demand shoe and over time it's slowly gone down in value but at the same time there has been a lot of hype behind these the red thunders and the white thunders even though the resale price may not reflect that so after a second retro of the og colorway of the thunder fours we then saw a new colorway the red thunder fours and these released a few months after the thunders and now in 2024 we have the white thunders that just hit the streets as well oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the dna show hey! so before i give you guys my thoughts and opinions and go over more details of these three models and show the similarities and everything. Let's see what my dad has to say. This is tough. So the yellow is the original, the red came out second, the white came out third. I got these, I don't have these. I definitely don't have those. Okay, so we're gonna do worst to best. Worst to best, we're gonna go worst to number one. <laughs> three, three, so, dang. I gotta go, I gotta go to. As you can see, he's over there debating on which colorway he likes the most. Let me give you guys a quick rundown of these shoes and show you all the similarities and differences between the models. So when it comes to the outsoles, as you can see, it has the shoes accent color, yellow, red, and white. And then the Jumpman is white on all of these. And it's a Jumpman, not a Nike Air, because what? On the back tab of all the shoes, you also have a Jumpman as well. Now, when it comes to the mesh and nets, everything is gonna be the exact same on these models as well. You're gonna have the yellow, the red, the white, and then the same thing on the eye stays. You're gonna have the yellow, red, and white. Now, one thing that they did did switch up which I'm like you were right there you had it but I understand why they didn't do white behind the tongue either way that's gonna be the behind the tongue area so if you look right here on the yellow you got the yellow if you look on the red you got the red and then on the white pair it's actually black behind it so I get it because you know like a white is gonna get dirty I understand that aspect but they literally had everything the same and then they switched that part up so for me, I'm like, if you guys were going with the exact same vibe, you know, like if they did a blue or a purple or whatever other color they did decided to do, I'm sure they would do that same color on the back side of the tongue as well. So I would just say like, stay consistent on that part. Now, besides that, every other element on the shoe is gonna be the same. And then obviously the box is being a little bit different. Speaking of that, this is for the Thunder Air Jordan 4 Retro, the yellow obviously there. Now this is the White Thunder Air Jordan 4. It has same box, but it's gonna be in white. So I get that, I like how they went about that. But then when it comes to the Red Thunders, it actually has like that OG vibe with the Air Jordan 4 box. So again, another switch up, I wish they would have done a all red box with the white or black text on the box, similar to these ones, giving you that same type of element. So that's just my personal preference. Again, slight tweak, just showing you guys, there are some little bit differences when it comes to the packaging and then each of the shoes compared to the original release, or should we say second retro of the original release. Now, before we get back to my dad and see what he's thinking about the shoes, let's take it over to Hearth real quick and see what some of the employees say. I don't like predominantly all black shoes like this, but I'm gonna go, one, two, three. Damn, so the OG is last. OG is last. I just, I don't mess with yellow that much. Red is cool. It's just for me, like with what I like, the black and white is just gonna be a lot easier to wear. It's kind of tough because I have these, but honestly, I'm gonna put them at the end. Put them this last. Probably do this. First, second, third. Yep. OG last. OG last. Bro. Wow. Bro, it's like, I have them and I barely wear them because. 
I don't got a lot of yellow. So. As you can see, very similar yet different on which ones they like the most and how they would order the shoes. I like that. Let me know what you think about their opinions down below in the comment section. Now let's see what my dad has to say to finish off this video. I gotta go to black and white. This is gonna take third place. The black and white is gonna take third place. So we're gonna put him here. We're gonna do this. Oh. And I gotta go second. Second. This is gonna be second. This is gonna be second. This is gonna be first. So my dad definitely had a hard time picking, but honestly, I'm not mad at his choices and I understand why. So now let's go ahead and reveal all the poll results. Okay, so what do you think the people said? This is your top three. What do you think the people ranked? I hope the people on my side, but I think the people probably went like this. That's what I think. So which one's first? So this would be first, this would be second, this would be third. Okay. That's what I think the people would do. Okay, so. The people said, coming in at third place, red. Third? It didn't even look like this? So, the people, which one do you think is first or second now? No, oh my God, they probably did this. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> people are so simple. Yeah. Most people are pretty simple. I'm simple, but I'm flashy at times, too. Okay. Second place, white. Ah, they did this. <laughs> And then first place, OG, yellow. So these is clean, I'll rock them, but I couldn't wear them on as much as I want to. Mm -hmm. Whereas these, I can wear a lot more. I feel that. So that would be me. Y'all supposed to be on my side. What y'all doing? Slipping. So that's gonna do it, you guys. As you saw from the results, we had the Red Thunder coming in third place. Second place was the White Thunder. And in first place, the classic, the OG, everybody's favorite, the Yellow Thunder. So let me know what you think on everybody else's poll results. I would love to see your rankings down below in the comment section. Now, when it comes to my personal rankings, I'm gonna go White in third, Red in second, and Yellow in first, for my personal opinion. I gotta rock with the OG. The Red, it's just, it's, it's kind of hard to beat. I know there were some quality control issues, but at the end of the day, still a great shoe. And then the white, it's clean. I get it, but you know what I'm saying? It's, I can't, I can't rank it above the other two. That's just my personal. All right, you guys. I'll see you in another one. If you guys want to see any other ranking videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We got plenty more to come. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video, I want to take your collection to the next level. I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, it's definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. That's in my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One of those. One I would never let you down. That's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make